Hi, my name's Heidi Conley. I'm a cardiologist at Mayo Clinic, and today we're going to talk about carcinoid heart disease. The normal heart has four chambers and four valves. The top chambers are called atria, right atrium on the right, left atrium on the left. The bottom chambers are called ventricles, right ventricle on the right, left ventricle on the left. The blue blood or venous blood or deoxygenated blood coming back from the body enters the two big veins and drains into the top chamber on the right called the right atrium. It then flows through a valve into the bottom chamber called the right ventricle. As that chamber fills, it gets the message to pump and blood is pumped out to the lungs. In the lungs, the blue blood is oxygenated and then the oxygenated or red blood returns to the left side of the heart and in the same manner enters the top chamber on the left called the left atrium, goes through a valve into the bottom chamber called the left ventricle and as that chamber fills it gets the message to pump and blood is then pumped to the body. Under normal circumstances there's no a connection between the left and right heart chambers after birth. In persons with carcinoid heart disease, the right-sided heart valves are primarily affected. So let's look at the right-sided heart valves as demonstrated here. We have uh, the top chamber on the right called the right atrium, the bottom chamber on the right called the right ventricle, and then blood is pumped from the right ventricle to the artery that sends blood to the lungs called the pulmonary artery. The two valves on the right side are called tricuspid and pulmonary valve. All valves have names so that when healthcare providers speak with each other about a particular patient problem, we know exactly what that person is talking about. In persons with a carcinoid heart disease, the primary tumor is generally located in the small bowel and metastasizes to the liver. The active hormone-like substances produced by the primary tumor and also by the liver enter the right side of the heart with the blue blood or venous blood that drains into that big vein. It then goes through the tricuspid and also the pulmonary valve and causes damage to those two valves. It's felt that the problem that occurs with this thickening and damage to the valves is due to one of the hormone-like substances produced by the tumor, so-called serotonin. These valves become thickened and abnormal and don't function normally, causing leaking of the two right-sided heart valves with subsequent enlargement of the chambers as demonstrated here. With long-standing severe leakage, the right heart enlarges and the function deteriorates, and patients can develop symptoms. Symptoms of carcinoid heart disease include fatigue, breathlessness, leg swelling, abdominal swelling, and ultimately a combination of all of these so-called right heart failure. Management of patients with carcinoid heart disease can be uh, challenging because there's limited medical therapy. It's important to emphasize that if no symptoms are present, observation is perfectly reasonable. We sometimes do use diuretic therapy uh, as a medication for patients with carcinoid heart disease to treat swelling, but this usually doesn't help with breathlessness or fatigue and ultimately surgery may be required and this involves replacement of one or more heart valve. At Mayo Clinic we've operated on more patients with carcinoid heart disease than any other center in the world. We have a specialty care team which is familiar with the management of patients with carcinoid heart disease and because of this have been able to decrease the risk of heart surgery uh, in this patient population. And so as we go back to the schematic with the damaged valves and leaking valves and enlarged chambers, those valves are surgically removed and replaced, generally with bioprosthetic valves, and that ultimately allows the right heart chambers to return back to normal size and the valves to be more efficient. 
Interestingly, left-sided valve disease occurs infrequently in patients with carcinoid heart disease, but may occur if there's a hole in the heart and the serotonin-rich blood from the right side transitions to the left side of the heart.